What's going on guys, Marty, and welcome guys back to another Clash of Clan video. So today guys, yes, I'm going to be playing a uh, bit of a Clash of Clan. I'm going to be showing you a few videos that, or a few attacks that I have done uh, last night while I was actually chatting with you guys. You awesome out there, just super freaking amazing, I freaking love you. And uh, yeah, yesterday we kind of just shared some ideas, we shared some tips here and there, and uh, it was just amazing to spend a few hours with you guys. So anyway, I managed to do a few attacks while I was actually chatting with you. I've shared some of them uh, with you, which I'm going to try to show you today on this video, just in case if you missed it. And as well, as you can see, I am going full power with the balloons. So I have literally upgraded them now to um, level 3. As you can see, my balloons are now on level 3, and uh, I'm... You know what? I'm going to keep going for, you know, all the way to the end, I suppose, for the balloons because they are super freaking effective. They have a bit of weakness here and there because, you know, of the, what's it called? This rocket attack launcher thing. I keep forgetting what's it called. I've got mine somewhere. Here we go. It's just hidden behind them. The air defense. So, yeah, it's like the biggest sort of danger, danger zone for the balloons when they kind of get near uh, one of these, like, air defenses because... They are super freaking powerful. The moment you can get this down and uh, hopefully get some of these kind of, you know, the air bombs uh, destroyed, uh, you know, you are literally there. You can just literally take over the whole space. I'm going to show you a few attacks, uh, which I just managed to kind of take over the whole thing. And then a few of them, uh, which, you know, kind of run out of time. But I still kind of won it and uh, did really well. So I kind of kicked ass, I suppose. So uh, what I'm actually going to do first, I'm going to actually, uh, you know, probably chop down some trees. Hopefully we can get more gems. As you can see, I'm already at 1,600. I'm super freaking looking forward to get my 2,000 gems so I can unlock my fifth builder which is gonna be super freaking epic and as well on top of that i'm going to be uh coming down a little on the builders because i thought i'm thinking about should i get my fifth builder but at the same time even though because i've been looking forward so much to get my fifth builder uh but in the same time i'm thinking uh should i probably use it for something else i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i really want to have you know what i might just get my fifth builder when i get the 2000 gems at the moment we are getting the ton more uh, gems by chopping down some trees and trunks uh, we can get anything up to like eight i think I, I got like six the other day i think i got like eight as well i can't remember exactly uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i think he can easily now get like four five six even you know gems so i think i've chopped down like let's say 10 um trees or, or you know trunks or flowers or whatever and i managed to get just by chopping down 10 like almost 40 gems which is really epic i suppose so what i'm actually going to be doing today uh, I'm going to be, uh, you know, just working, as I said, chopping a few trunks down. Let me just go ahead and start doing that right now. Uh, hopefully, we can get some goods. We've got three builders doing literally nothing. Let's just pick up our lovely gold coins and our elixirs as well. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. By the way, I just managed as well uh, this morning to reach 1.2 million. And yes, I am now literally upgrading my town hall to level 6. A lot of you guys suggested not to. And maybe just kind of try to upgrade my walls, you know, and everything else in here. I do agree with you guys. But at the same time, I really want to get my king. Just want to have my king in there, ruling the kingdom. I really, really, I'm definitely looking forward to having the king there. And this is the only reason why I want to kind of upgrade my town hall to level uh, 6. So I can actually, uh, sorry, to level seven, so I can actually get my king. And on top of that, I think, let me let me double check as well. We can't really see now. Um, I'm going to get, you know, an ec extra 25 uh, pieces of the wall, uh, which is, you know, going to actually allow me to close off this bit here. And hopefully I can uh, maybe protect some of my mines. I'm not exactly sure exactly what I'm going to be doing. Or maybe just, um, yeah, I might actually change the layout when I get my next uh, 25 uh, pieces oh i think i get 50 in the next upgrade oh yeah i think i get 50 pieces of the wall so i think i'm gonna do a ton of upgrades i might just redo the whole uh place in here let me guys know if you would like to see me uh you know just redoing the whole place even though it takes some time forever to kind of figure out a way or a position of uh, placing everything down but if you guys want to see that i'll be more than happy to make a video of uh, me kind of playing around and changing the layout of uh, my um, map i suppose so uh, for now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and um, I'm thinking just to upgrade something quickly. I might just upgrade these ones because literally right now what I'm going to be doing. You know, before I actually do that, let me, let's just kind of chop a few more. Uh, we've only got one gem from like three uh, bits that we just actually chopped. I can't believe that. This is like the least I have gotten in the last week just from chopping down 
uh, trunks. The minimum I've been getting like two gems. It's, it's kind of crazy. Here we go. We got now. Whoa. We got like six immediately. And how many are we going to get from this one? That was really six. So as you can see, um, from one trunk, we got six. The second one gave us nothing in here. And now let's see this one. I'm definitely looking forward to see what we're going to get from this one. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, another four. This is what I'm saying. Like, literally, we chopped down about five trunks. We got, like, 11 gems already, which is really epic. Usually, I get double that, but it's still very epic. Three gems, why not? Anyway, let's go now into... Oh, we've got two more. I was going to uh, start upgrading. And let's just... I don't want to chop down this street. I really like the look of it. I want to keep it there. Uh, let's just do these final few in here. And then, uh, why not we doing this? I think, oh, we can't actually upgrade because we need another builder. And this is why I want to get my fifth builder so I can just literally upgrade, chop, do all that stuff at the same time. I really hate when I run out of builders. It's really, really annoying. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Another 390 or 89 gems to kind of get my fifth builder. And um, come on. Let's see how many gems we're going to get. Oh, my God. We got five from this one. Come on. Another one. Not bad another three look at that three chops got us nine gems this is what i'm actually talking about let's see how many we're gonna get with this this is really epic oh my goodness this is really really nice this is like getting 20 plus gems in about not even a few minutes a couple of minutes or so this is really fun another two gems there come on another one Oh, we got nothing from this one but i am definitely happy with that 22 gems uh just within you know leaving this whole sort of plantation to grow within like 24 hours or so a bit more than that and then chopping it all down we got like about 22 gems which is not bad at all for free which is really amazing it's always good when you get free stuff uh so for now what i'm actually going to do is i am going to upgrade this one here. oh i see why i didn't actually upgrade you before because i need to be on level seven uh my town hall need to be on level seven so i need to wait until i can get my town hall to level seven seven uh before i can actually upgrade so yeah pretty much everything that i've got here um yeah i need to be on level seven the town hall need to be on level seven before i can actually upgrade any of that stuff so i'm not sure what i can actually upgrade i can't oh you know what i think i can upgrade these ones yep here we go let's get these to level 10 i think all my mines now are on level 10 already which is super freaking epic uh yep let's upgrade this one here as well we need another 84 so we need about 20 plus uh have i got have i no another two uh do you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead now and show you some of the replays or some of the attacks which i uh, did last night and this morning and i uh, hope you guys enjoy them all right so this is a quick recap of my attacks uh, in the last three days or so as you can see i have been doing quite well so i've won quite a few attacks in the last few days as you can see i've got you know i've got a lot of goals from them and unfortunately i really wanted to play this one uh, here but i can't you know the 100 percent one um but i just can't i don't know why i don't have the replay for it i really wanted to show you the strategy the way i've actually attacked and i managed to kind of get you know kind of good amount of gold and elixirs unfortunately i can't i don't know why for some reason i think when you go past like a day or so uh, you can no longer play them but what we can do is play this one here uh the replay here uh, which is 100% as well, which is really epic. It's very hard to kind of get 100% sometimes with the balloons because they are very slow uh, to move around. They can destroy a lot, but they are very slow, especially if they, uh, you know, the enemy just put um, random builds in the corners. By the time they kind of reach them, uh, they'll, you know, uh, the time kind of run out. So let's go ahead now and watch this replay. Here we go. As you can see, this one, it was a very sort of a simple, basic, uh, you know, attack. For me, I just wanted to kind of spawn uh, as much balloons as I can. I spawned a few and I was like, you know what, let's just rape this place. So I've literally just went ahead and spawned even more balloons. And we started looking, look at that. I mean, this is crazy. I, I think I just wasted one of my uh, potions in here, which I, I kind of regret spawning at back there. But I thought the balloons are going to go straight to the wizard tower. And I thought I'll be able to kind of cover the area. So literally the first potion I used, uh, it kind of got wasted 
And the second healing potion which I use now, it kind of worked really well. I think I use it in the next uh, few seconds or so. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't think I use a second potion in this one. No, I don't because as you can see, I already have a ton of balloons. As you can see, I've literally spawned every single balloon. I had 27 of them. And I do, I do actually use my potion. I kind of forgot for a second. And just for the sake of having fun, I've literally just went ahead and I spawned every single balloon that I had, which is kind of crazy. But I really wanted to kind of, you know, just go ahead and rape this place. Uh, it was a very easy attack for me. I kind of managed to get, you know, a good amount of gold and just about managed to recover uh, the balloons cost. But on top of that, I really wanted to kind of go as well for the trophies. Um, you know, so literally it was just, you know, in whole, it was a good attack. You know, trying to get everything. Uh, in one, I suppose, it was very good. I was hoping, you know, to get more gold and more elixirs, but unfortunately, this one uh, didn't have much. This guy here was a poor guy, and he literally got murdered. Like, I kind of KO'd this place with these balloons. This is what I really love about the balloons attack. Uh, but as you can see, they do actually kind of move slowly. I'm just fast forwarding now, uh, just to kind of get to the final. So, as you can see, this guy, weakness, he didn't have any uh, builds in the corners, which is uh, very uh, disappointing for him. But for me, it was really nice because my balloons, literally, they just had to kind of go around this and destroy the whole thing and win it for me. Here we go. Let's now go into another replay. Another replay for you guys. This one is slightly uh, larger. And as you can see, he put his wizard towers right up front and his air defense right up front. So... I really wanted to kind of just get rid of them really fast before I actually move into, uh, you know, the rest. But as you can see, my balloons actually kind of split down there. And this has kind of made me want to use straight away one of my potions to kind of heal up these uh, balloons. And I think it worked really well. And then, you know what, while, it, you know, the balloons are kind of getting divided like that, I was like, you know, this is a very good idea because now everything kind of getting destroyed from both sides. But then at the corner there, at the top, uh, you know, right corner, they kind of get back together. And in this way, I was thinking maybe I'm not going to get 100%. I do actually get 100% in this one. Don't worry. But for a second, I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to actually group up. And then, I'm, you know, they're just going to be moving at one speed. And in this way, I'm not going to be able to get my for 100%. But I do. And uh, literally, this guy played it very cleverly. Uh, this is why for a second, I was like, oh, this is going to be very scary. But I'm so lucky because my balloons literally split it up. And uh, they were going in two different directions. And uh, for a second as well, every time I was thinking that, you know, they are definitely doing well. Uh, suddenly you could see them, they're already moving it back into the same sort of position. And then you're thinking they are going to regroup once again, which they do for a second here. Uh, I'm just going to fast forward quickly and then they split again, which is really epic. So this is the only way uh, for me to kind of win games like this if my balloons kind of play it cleverly, I suppose, which is it's very hard to kind of uh, divide. It would be nice if there's a way of kind of splitting balloons around uh, rather than just kind of, you know, moving by themselves. And then as I was getting right to the end here, I was literally running out of time and I was literally in the last few seconds uh, but I do well and I do get that final uh, build destroyed and I win it and I get all of those some really good uh, golds and elixirs but my next aim now is to aim for a uh, bigger loot uh, bigger trophies I suppose and I really want to get my full upgrades on the uh, my balloons hopefully when I get my uh, town hall to level um, seven and on top of that guys i am gonna be upgrading a ton of my other warriors uh hopefully into higher levels so we can go into a much uh, powerful attack so for now ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed today's video a like is very much appreciated and i'll see you guys later take care for now and bye bye peace